Hey friends, welcome to another video. My name is Tanya, also known as Thrifty Treasures here on YouTube. And if you are new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you and say thanks for stopping by. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and be sure and click on the little bell beside my name. That way you'll be sure and get notifications whenever I go live or upload a video. Um, also, um, if you have been subscribed to me for a while, I'd like to say welcome back. So um, today I'm bringing you guys a jewelry thrift haul. This is jewelry that my mother-in-law has picked up for me at her antique mall. And so um, she knows that I love the jewelry. And there is a dealer at her mall and they sell the jewelry for super duper cheap. So um, every now and again, she'll pick me up some jewelry. So I'm always excited to get jewelry from her. And I actually have um, probably about two bags of stuff from her because it's been accumulating all summer. And I'm just now getting around to going through it. And it's been a while since I've gone through it. So it's going to be like brand new to me again, going through it for the first time with you guys. So, um, yeah. Oh, and also before um, I get started, I, want, I would like to invite you guys to join my jewelry group on Facebook. It's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And I'll be sure and put the link down in the description box below. Um, I have several uh, Facebook groups and I'll put the link to all of them in the description box down below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Now, some of the items I've already taken out of the bag, so I'm not sure how much I paid for them, or my mother-in-law paid for them. Um, this one I recognize right away. I'm pretty sure this one's Trifari. Let me get my little loop here. Yeah, this is the Trifari. I believe this one's called, uh, it's like the dogwood flower. And it's a little brooch, and it's marked right there on the back. Trifari. So that one's really pretty. And sometimes, you know, these enamel ones will be chipped and whatnot, but this one actually looks really nice and clean. It looks really good. So I'll probably definitely put this uh, on eBay and Etsy. Maybe even Posh if they're selling over there. I'll have to do some research first. But yeah, I list my jewelry, you guys, on eBay. And if it's vintage, I'll put it on Etsy. And um, even if it's vintage, I might put it on Poshmark too. And definitely the newer jewelry also goes on Poshmark as well. And I actually have a few pieces on Macari too. <laughs> so here is a really pretty little flower brooch. And this one is marked Castle Cliff. That's a good brand. So really pretty one. And then here's where it's marked right there on the back side. And these flowers, I'm not sure what kind of material the petals are made of, but it almost feels like some kind of lightweight plastic. But yeah, really pretty little brooch. Um, this one she paid, or it had $3 on it, but I think the lady might have given her all these pieces for a dollar. I think they know each other. And so um, she gives my mother-in-law really good deals. So let me break into this one. It's super cute. It's a queen. And there's hearts and spades and some dice. Almost like a little poker one, right? A deck of cards. And at the back is marked, it looks like JJ. No, it's marked AJC. So that's also a good brand. I recently did a video on that brand. If you guys want to go check it out on my channel, search my videos for AJC. I'll have to do some research on this one, but if it's one that isn't listed, if I don't see any other ones like it, I'll probably um, go high on it. And when I say high, you know, I mean like maybe, I don't know, maybe 25 or 30. It just depends if there are any like it or not. But um, I always sell the AJC. They tend to sell pretty, pretty good for me. This one is gorgeous. I must have already taken it out of the bag, but look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's big too. Like, look how big it is up against my hand. Right? And then there's the back. You can definitely tell this is probably from the 60s. Little flower power brooch. And again, the enamel, it looks so pretty and clean. Very nice, really good condition. And I love the bling in the middle. 
And this one isn't marked. I'm not seeing any markings on it anyway. Let me get my bigger magnifying glass. Isn't this cool? It's like a like a horn. My husband found this actually in a car. Um, yeah, but it's not marked. But it looks amazing in excellent condition. So I don't know what I'll put on this one yet. Maybe, I don't know, I have to do some research. Maybe about $15, $16. This one's gorgeous too. This is like something that looks like it could be real gold. Of course, I doubt it is. But real pretty with the pearls and looks like little green, oopsie, little green rhinestones. Looks like it might be missing a pearl. Bummer, I think it is. But I might be able to replace that. And I'm not seeing any marks um, on this one either. And then that's what the back side looks like. But really pretty little brooch and here is a pretty pendant a necklace pendant and this one is not marked I don't think but that's really pretty looks like it's carved out with some flowers that's pretty I might keep this for myself be a really pretty piece to have. I might keep it for a little while and then sell it later. But yeah, no markings on the back. Um, this one is like a pendant. Whoa, wait, maybe it's not. Okay, it's some kind of a locket. My hands are shaking. The medicine I take makes me shake, you guys. Um, so yeah, and then that's what the back looks like. But inside, I don't know, it must be like some kind of powder or something. It doesn't really smell like anything. Um, oh, it's like a cameo, duh. So there's the little cameo there in the center. I'm a little slow, y'all. But yeah, I think this top piece must have broke off because I'm not seeing any way to uh, to work to put it like on the necklace. But you could probably string something through those two holes, uh, and I could probably fix it. I don't know. I might just sell it the way it is. So if somebody's interested, let me know. <laughs> And I do remember seeing this one because I thought it was so pretty. And I guess it's like a pendant. I don't know if it was broke because the sides both look like that. Like maybe it came off the necklace, but it's that cloisonne. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Cloisonne like enamel. Oopsie. Real pretty blues and peaches and pinks. And it's really pretty big, too. Love that one. And this one's really pretty, too. It looks like a um, shamrock. That'd be fun to wear, like, for St. Patrick's Day. Super blingy. And then that's what the back side looks like. Yeah, again, a really, really big piece. And I don't think this one's marked, either. No. Yeah. Love this one. Some of these I might have bought. I'm sitting here looking at these now and they look really familiar. So I might have gotten some of these and put them all in the same bag. But here are some interesting um, earrings. These are like, I don't know if it's like wood but they've got this uh, abalone looking shell on it. So let me show you. And then that's what the back looks like. I think that they call these like 
is it Omega or French? I can't remember backing. I think it's Omega. My hair's acting crazy. But yeah, it actually looks like somebody folded them down or pushed them down. So I guess you could wear them like as a clip earring too. So these are really pretty, different. Definitely vintage looking. And I love this one. I'll probably keep this one. I'm saying that a lot. <laughs> this one's a really pretty butterfly. Multicolored here with the greens and purples and reds and some blues, pearls in the center. And then that's what the back looks like. Love this one. It's so pretty. Where, where? Over here on my jacket. Yeah, I'll probably keep this one. I wear it on my sweaters this winter. Yeah, no markings on it. But I've sold similar pieces like this, uh, the, similar pieces like, you know, enamel for about $30. Seems like I've sold a peacock like this before for that much. And it wasn't marked. And we have a Christmas tree. Little Christmas tree brooch. Looks like some little ornaments, little rhinestones, all different colors. Oh, and this one is, oh, this is a, a JJ. I did not see that the first time I looked at this because it's marked in a really weird place. So if you look right up here at the top, right on the back of the start is where it's marked. JJ. So, um, yeah, JJ pieces do well, especially the Christmas trees. I've noticed they do really well, the brooches. And if you have a lot of Christmas tree brooches, uh, they sell well too. But I have a hard time parting with them. They're really pretty. They're pretty. Of course, I love anything Christmas. Halloween used to be my favorite, but now the older I get, I'm thinking Christmas is more my favorite. <clears throat> and here's a really pretty wreath with some rhinestones scattered throughout. Gold tone. I'm having a hard time with this. So that's really pretty. Not seeing any markings on this one. Really pretty for Christmas time though. Oh, and this one's definitely vintage looking. How gorgeous is this? Hopefully I have it right. Where does it go like that? Maybe it goes like this. It almost looks like a star. Gold tone with some green, green, emerald green rhinestones. Some little flowers, and then this is what the back looks like. Not marked, but really, really beautiful. How come I never know what side to go on? Is that pretty? Let me see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any markings on it. Gorgeous piece, though. It almost looks like it would twist and spin, but it doesn't. So, yeah, really, really pretty. Like, I wonder how many times I've said pretty in this video. <laughs> Save just a few more pieces. This one's definitely interesting. I'm thinking... Yeah, it's a necklace. And then it's a cross with some inlaid, looks like abalone shell. And then that's what the back looks like. Not marked. Let me look at the um, clasp. No, no markings on the clasp either. 
Still gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And big too, huh? Really pretty. I like that. This one looks like some kind of a charm. Something charm. It's a bunch of little danglies on it. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? It's a little cat. And it's got hearts and other little cats. Isn't that cute? So it's like a charm pendant. And it definitely looks older with that C-type clasp on it. Wow, let me look at the back. Yep, not seeing any markings on it, but wow, how unique is that? So I'll be excited to get this one listed. It's really unusual, different, huh? It's like that cat's looking right at you. Mm. Meow. So lively looking, right? Love that. Let's see. Oh, and this was in there. This, I'm pretty sure, so like it was in a bag like this, and I'm pretty sure I remember look at this and it was real gold. So it's a little cat, little pendant or charm. I'm trying to hold it. Let's see. You're not going to be able to see that. There we go. Little sitting cat. And let me see, I think it's pretty sure it's marked. I turn it over. Yeah, I'm gonna need my loop. That's super duper small writing. So it says ZZ 14K GF. So yeah. Gold plated. Oh, maybe that's a P. That's probably a P, not an F. My eyesight, you guys, the older I get, I tell you. But yeah, cute little cat charm, which I need to put back in a bag because if I don't, I will surely lose it. Oh, this is really pretty. It's a little bird, little bird. And it looks like enamel, like that cloisonne. Closing a multicolored, and then that's what the back looks like. Not marked, but how cute is that? That's adorable. Love the little birdie. And we have a copper bracelet in here, like a little cuff, cuff bracelet. That's really nice. Small though. Yeah, that's what it looks like on. Really pretty, huh? I like that. Let's see. And I'm not seeing any marks on this one either. But yeah, definitely looks tribal to me, especially with those markings on it. You got an arrow. Looks like a couple arrows, and then the same thing over here. And then the last one is a sword brooch. So that's really interesting. Silver tone, and it's got this little chain on it too. And then that's what the back looks like. Let's see if it's marked. I'm not seeing any marks on it. But how gorgeous is this? And it doesn't look like it's missing any rhinestones either. So I'll definitely be listing this one. I'm not really into swords so much. 
as I am, like the animals, like I love the animals and the insects, jewelry and stuff like that. But yeah, somebody will want this. It's really pretty. It's like a statement brooch, right? <laughs> it's big too. Look how big it is in my hand. Right? Huge. So um, that is all for that jewelry haul. But you guys, I have a ton more jewelry hauls to show you guys. I know I still, and I talk about it all the time, I'm so horrible. I still have that box from Angie that I need to go through, but I'm kind of saving that because um, we, we, we talked and we decided we might do that on an episode of Jewelry Detectives. So um, if one day or one week we don't have a guest, then that might be something that we do is um, open up her box that she sent to me um, that Tracy, uniquely me, paid for. So um, thank you both to them for that. So um, thanks so much, you guys, for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my jewelry thrift haul. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Go join the jewelry group on Facebook, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Bye.